This is Andrea and today I'm making sweet potato cobbler. This is such a simple and delicious recipe. So let me show you how I make it. And as always, I'll make sure to put the recipe in the description box. So you are going to need a 40 ounce can of sweet potatoes. This is the brand that I'm using. And so I have the sweet potatoes right here and I already kind of cut them into pieces. And then I reserved that juice from the potatoes and it's about two cups of juice that you're gonna need. You're gonna need three tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, and then two cups of sugar, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of butter, one refrigerated pie crust at room temperature, and then you're also going to need vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my saucepan over medium heat, and I'm just adding in that reserved potato water, two cups of sugar, and my flour. And I'm just gonna whisk it all together and let it cook until that sugar has completely dissolved. Okay, so that sugar has dissolved. Now I'm just adding in that half a cup of butter. And then you're gonna add in cinnamon and nutmeg to taste. And I'm adding about a half a teaspoon, but you know, just add whatever your personal preference is. And I'm also adding in about a teaspoon of vanilla as well. Next, I'm gonna take my sweet potatoes and place them in a two quart buttered casserole dish. And then I'm gonna pour that syrup mixture right on top. And next, you're gonna place your pie crust over your potatoes, fold the edges if you need to. Then take your heavy whipping cream and just brush it right over that crust. Then take your reserved sugar and just sprinkle it right on top. Then take your knife and just vent your pie. And then I am going to pop this into my oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna let this bake until that crust is golden brown. Okay, so I just took the cobbler out of the oven and I ended up letting it bake for about 45, 50 minutes. So I'm just gonna let this cool so I can get it served up for you all. I wanna wait until that sauce thickens up a little bit, otherwise it's just gonna run everywhere. Okay, so I let the cobbler cool for about half an hour. And as you can see, I scooped some up and then I'm eating it with some vanilla bean ice cream. It would also be really good with whipped topping as well. This is such a simple and delicious dessert. I hope it becomes a new family favorite of yours as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.